Vivo first caught my eyes when it first came out a few months ago, and it's been on my Netflix list ever since, I think maybe August or September. Finally, I got round to watching it, and I have to say, it's pretty much worth the watch. It's emotional, it's colourful, it's vibrant, it's full of character, and it's quite unpredictable. This was directed by Kirk D'Amico, or Miko, and Bram Jeffords. Screenplay by Kirk D'Amico and music by Lynn Manuel Miranda. Straight away, you know the soundtrack's going to be really good, and it is. There wasn't any song in this that really stood out for me that I was, you know, that I was left singing or humming after the film was finished. But generally speaking, I found the soundtrack to be really pleasing and something that I would visit again. The narrative is beautiful and unpredictable. Something happens quite early on that I'm not, I'm not going to divulge because I don't want to ruin it but I will say that it gets really emotional really quickly and made me feel emotions akin to the ones that I feel in Up, the Disney film Up. The same thing doesn't happen but it's that level of emotion and it's that kind of mix between feel-good animation and raw sentimentality and it does that balance so well. This film actually follows this little monkey called Vivo voiced by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who goes on a journey with the help of Gabby. Uh, Gabby is voiced by Yanerli uh, Simo, or Simo, I, mis- I apologise if I mispronounce any of these names, to deliver a song to Marta at her final performance. And I can't say why they need to deliver the song without giving any spoilers, but they work together, this young girl, who I think, she, I think she's about 12, and this monkey to try and deliver this song and get it to her for her final performance. One decision they made with this that I absolutely love is that the monkey doesn't speak English. Now, I know that sounds obvious. Well, I say English, it is said in American, but a lot of this is Spanish, um, I believe. My knowledge of foreign languages is shockingly poor. But he doesn't speak human, I'll put it that way. So he has to interact with Gabby through actions but he understands her and the other humans and I think that was a really really clever thing to do because there are a lot of animations where you have a human and animal pairing and the animal somehow can speak the language of the human but this makes it a little bit more realistic and even more believable and it kind of made me think if a monkey can understand the human language this could actually happen whether or not I'm just living in a cloud at the moment I don't know but it was beautiful. The narrative unfolded so lovely. The pacing was incredible. I think everything that happened happened at the perfect moment. At no point did I feel like it was taking too long to get anywhere. The soundtrack, as I said, although nothing specifically stood out for me, was stunning and moving. Gabby as a character, I love. I absolutely love her. She is full of personality and what I love about her most is that she is an outcast but she knows it and she's proud of it. She is really proud of it. You can tell just by the way she looks. She has the purple hair. She's dressed a little more unconventionally. I love her outfit, the tie and the skirt and the little denim waistcoat. Definitely people are going to be cosplaying that for years to come. But I love the fact that she knows she's an outcast and she works it. She is fantastic. She definitely made this film from a really good film to a great film. I don't want to say any more about the narrative, but it is obviously a little adventure story as Gabby and Vivo try to deliver this song. Marta is voiced by Gloria Estefan. Fantastic casting across the board. Beautiful animation design it is stunning to look at the colors are so bright and vivid and they really draw you in one of the top reviews for this on imdb is titled kids love it yes i'm sure kids will love it but i think it's a a family friendly fun film that is emotional beautiful sentimental absolutely stunning definitely check it out it's not one of those films that looks good but ends up being disappointing it delivers on every level absolutely gorgeous. Vivo is definitely one of the best films I've seen this year.